sitting comfortably, then I'll begin. Just like most of you, I'm sure, uh, I have my own unique idiosyncrasies. And uh, I, I spend a lot of time in introspection and watching the way my mind works, uh, sort of meditation in, in, in a non-meditative way, if you will. Uh, anyway, and there are certain things I notice about myself all the time. Not all of them I'm particularly comfortable to notice. And, uh, you know, it's what I call the curse of self-awareness sometimes, because sometimes, even though I don't want to change how I look at things or the way I am, it's kind of annoying the way I look at things and how I am sometimes about certain things. And one of those things I would like to share with you uh, for the sake of conversation, because I, I'm interested to find out uh, what sort of little arguments you all have in your own head with yourself about yourself from time to time. And here's one of the ones that I have. I live in London currently, and just like I have for the past 26 years, I rely on public transport because I haven't owned a vehicle in that whole time. And the public transport system in London is pretty good. Now, most of the bus stops don't have any uh, electric sign telling you when the buses are coming. However, a, a large number of them do, but the majority of them don't. Okay, uh, But some bus stops have like a little electric sign attached to the ceiling, which tells you what buses are coming next and how long it'll take them to get there. And it doesn't just reiterate the, uh, the bus schedule, which you can see printed out on the wall of the bus stop. It actually has, each bus has a GPS. And so, you know, the sign is connected to the GPS bus system. So it can actually give you an accurate uh, idea of when the next bus is coming because it knows, you know, the, 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 the distances are calculated and the speed of the bus and blah, blah, blah. And it's all, it's all already there. So, you know, if the bus is going to be there in 10 minutes, the sign will tell you it's 10 minutes and you can pretty much rely on it taking 10 minutes to get there. Now, the bus stop nearest to my house, which is about a five-minute walk from my front door, doesn't have one of these electric signs. The next bus stop along up the route uh, closer to my destination is about a two- or three-minute walk from that bus stop, and it does have one of those electric signs. But every single bus that I could catch from either bus stop will stop at the closer stop first without the sign. And... So, generally speaking, since that's true, I almost always opt to just stay at that bus stop and wait. Having said that, when you know how long you have to wait, it doesn't seem to make waiting quite so cumbersome. And many times I consider, but almost never do, walk on to the, uh, the further bus stop another two or three minutes up the road, just so I can look at the sign and have some idea how long I have to wait because if I know I have to wait for 10 minutes, it doesn't really burden me. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like too long. But if I don't know when the next bus is coming, I still have to wait the same 10 minutes, but it seems more burdensome on my brain. I get more agitated. I, I have a harder time relaxing. I, I, I'm not necessarily saying I get impatient, but I'm like, I just don't know when the bus is coming. And so I have to contend with, my, uh, with waiting. You know, and I have thoughts like I'm having right now. And you might just say, well, Paul, you know, if that's how you feel, if it makes it so much easier for you, why don't you just walk the extra two or three minutes to the next bus stop? And I'll tell you why. Because in the two or three minutes it takes me to walk from my bus stop to the next bus stop, the bus might come along and it won't stop for you if you're not at a bus stop, right? So it's entirely likely that I might miss the bus if I walk that extra two or three minutes. And the problem compounds itself because... Since I don't know when the bus is coming, the longer I wait, the more I want to know when the bus is coming and the more tempted I am to walk to the next bus stop. But of course, the less wise it would be to do so because the longer you wait, the sooner the bus is more likely to come, right? Obviously. So I end up waiting and being frustrated because there's no fucking electric sign on my bus stop. These are the kinds of arguments I have with myself sometimes. Uh, the curse of self-awareness is such that you, you, you can't help but be circumspect about the way your mind works. And I, I, I honestly don't understand why there's a difference. Why is it harder to wait for 10 or 15 minutes if you don't know how long you have to wait than it is if you do know how long you have to wait? You're doing exactly the same amount of waiting. Why is one more stressful when the other isn't? And I know there's been experiments done with, uh, about this, this sort of thing. I remember um, when I took psychology, I learned about an experiment where they, uh, 
they had dogs with an electrically charged floor and if they sounded a whistle or a horn or something first and then shocked the dog through its feet uh, the dog was more able to prepare itself mentally and got less stressed about the shock than the dogs that didn't get a horn uh, before they got shocked well I, I see this kind of thing in a similar way. I just don't understand how the psychological process works. Why? It's, it's, especially because I know this, right? I know that I don't need to be any more impatient just because I can't tell when the bus is coming. I know this intellectually, but I can't help it. I, I start to get agitated. I, I don't understand that about myself, and I've given it a lot of thought, too much thought probably, and I've already burdened you people with it for nearly six minutes. So I'd be very interested to hear in the comments section if you have sort of little stupid arguments with yourself from time to time, and, and you know, just outline what those might be. And tell me, you know, am I nuts? Am, am I just a bizarre, weird guy for, for having a harder time waiting when I don't know how long I have to wait? Or is that just natural? Would you, would you feel the same way? I don't know. Uh, yeah, all comments are welcome below, and I want to thank you for watching this video. I'll be back again soon. Until next time, may all your ups and downs be ups.